Hi, I'm Robert Thadhauer. I'm going to demonstrate building a tessellated polyhedron. This will use a template in my new book on tessellations, shown here. And this is from page 410. This will be a rhombic dodecahedron. This is a, a net, which is a flat pattern you can use to fold up and make a polyhedron. This one is tessellated with a squids and uh, sea turtles tessellation. And there's a blank one as well. In the back of the chapter, there's some templates to help you design your own Escher-like tessellation if you'd rather do that. So I printed um, three copies of that. I blew it up 20% and did it on cardstock. And this is a little bit better size to work with. So we need to, um, we're going to fold this on the dotted lines and cut on the solid lines. Now to make it fold more easily, I'm going to score the dotted lines. I'm just going to use a, uh, a ballpoint pen for that. Kind of hold it along the edge and it won't actually write. It'll just make a little bit of a groove in the paper so that you get a nice uh, crisp fold. So I'll run that along every fold as a starter. Okay. So in this polyhedron, each face is a, a rhombus. The ratio of the long to short diagonals is actually in the uh, square root of two in this polyhedron. It's kind of closely related to a cube is why you, why you get that number popping up. Let's see, got a couple more here. Oh, there we go. So you're probably more familiar with a, a regular dodecahedron, which is one of the, uh, the platonic solids. This is a, a rhombic dodecahedron, a wooden model made by Hiroshi Nakagawa. And you can actually get dice like this too. This is made by the Dice Lab, 12 sides. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this out. You can use scissors or an X-Acto knife or whatever you like. I kind of like to use just a snap knife like this, but if you're not used to it, this might be a little bit, a little bit hard to uh, control accurately. So we'll do all the solid lines this way. Okay. Once we do that, we'll just pop this out, then we can fold it. Okay, there's that. And let's see, it's usually easier to fold the tabs first. You can color the, the motifs in this design. If you want to do that, I suggest coloring it First, while it's um, laying on a flat surface, if you wait till afterwards, it's not a solid to uh, you know, press your colored pencils or whatever against. So the tabs are folded. Now I'll fold the, uh, the edges between the faces. And there are three of those. Okay. Okay. Now these tabs will go together. You can use um, glow stick. Um, rubber cement or tape. You might want to like rubber cement it and then use tape to hold it while it dries. Just to make things faster, I'm going to just use tape right now. So let me go cooperate. This guy. Okay. And again, you need three of these to form a full polyhedron. In the interest of time, I uh, did the other two in advance, and I attached those together. So now we just need to join these these pieces. So this will fit in here, get all the tabs going in the right, slotting in the right way here. If you'd like to hang this afterwards, you can um, tie a paper clip, for example, to a piece of string or a little bit of fish line, and then just stick that inside before you 
uh, glue it all together and then you can just hang it from that the piece of string or the artwork or an ornament or whatever okay let me get a piece of tape on there so it quits moving around so much there you go yeah get all my tabs in right this tabs on the wrong side okay that's better Okay, it's hard to get everything to cooperate at the same time here. Okay, now we've got it. Put a little tape here. And maybe one more piece over there. Okay, so there's the completed polyhedron. Uh, 12 faces, each one is a rhombus. Each face contains one squid and four half turtles. So in total we would have 12 squids and uh, uh, 24 sea turtles. And you can color those in various ways. You can make all the, all the sea turtles the same color or make adjacent tiles different colors or whatever. So again that's a, uh, a tessellated polyhedron and that's made using uh, my new book on tessellations. Thank you.